So here we're finding the inverse of a three by three matrix. Now, remember the process is to write your matrix that you're given and then write the identity matrix on the other side of the line, which would be one, one, one for a three by three matrix. And then the goal is to turn this into this and then whatever's on this side at the end will be your inverse, okay? Now there is an order in which you need to work on that. You need to start with this one first, then do this one second, this one third, then fourth, you get to the one that's in the middle first, then you can do this fifth and this sixth or these vice versa, it doesn't matter. What matters is that you do next. And then the one down here, and then eighth and ninth or vice versa. So these two, doesn't matter the order in which you do them, Two doesn't matter the order in which you do them and these two doesn't matter the order in which you do them what's important is that you turn the one into a one where it belongs and then you turn the rest of the people in that column into zeros now whether you try to do this row first to get the zero here or this row first to get the zero there it doesn't matter as long as those second and third steps are to make these two rows terms a zero okay well when you move on to the second column you have to turn the one into a one first and then change the other two entries and zeros and again it doesn't matter whether you're doing row one into a zero here or row three into a zero here as long as you do each of them it doesn't matter which one you do first or second and then the last one is to get this one here um, once that one is there doesn't matter which one you do first but both of these entries will eventually have to turn to zeros okay so go column by column getting the one first in that column where it's supposed to go and then getting the rest of the entries in that column to be zero so for us step one is going to be this one here and in order for me to turn that into a one I have to multiply by the reciprocal to get my new row one so one third times three is one. This will become five thirds. This will become four thirds. This will become one third, stay zero and stay zero. Then I will rewrite the rest of the rows. I only like to do one step at a time to avoid making mistakes. And a lot of times mistakes will occur just in copying down the information. So be very, very careful. Okay, so then now we're going to do this guy and turn it into a zero. Actually, I should use what I left off with. Don't ever go back to the previous steps. Use what you currently have after you've done whatever you've done. So I need to change that guy into a zero, which means I need the opposite, which is positive one. And I already have a positive one there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do row one plus row two and then get me that new row two so that this spot to a zero. So row one is these entries. Row two has these entries. And so the results are going to be zero, two thirds, um, one third, one third, one, and zero. And so I'm going to write that new matrix here. And then the other rows are gonna stay exactly the same. And again, be sure that you're copying from the very last matrix that you messed with, and be sure that you're copying all the entries correctly so that you don't have any mistakes. Now, the next thing I wanna do is I want to change um, this guy now into a zero. Remember, you gotta get the one and then get the other two people in that column to turn to zeros. So here I'm gonna need negative three. So I'm going to take the top row and do negative three times row one, which will give me negative three. And then I can add it to that positive three in row three. And that will give me the zero that I want in row three. Okay. So then what I'm going to do here is negative three times row one is going to be negative three, negative five, negative four, negative one, zero and zero 
And then row three are these entries. So when I combine them together, I get zero, one, one, negative one, zero, one. So then my matrix is going, this is row three. And then row two is gonna stay the same. And row one is gonna stay the same. Okay, now I'm going to get the one here. So how do I get ones? We get ones by multiplying by the reciprocal. So I'm going to take uh, 3 over 2 times row 2 to get that 1 in row 2. So this is all going to stay the same. Zero times three halves zero. Two thirds times three halves is one. One third times three halves is one half. One third times three halves again is one half. One times three halves is three halves. And zero times three halves is zero. Row three is going to stay the same. Then now I need to change these two guys into zeros. And so it doesn't matter which one you do first. I think I'm going to go with the five thirds first. So I'm going to have to use this guy and do negative 5 thirds times row 2 plus row 1 to give me the 0 in row 1 that I need. So all of these guys times negative 5 thirds. So 0, negative 5 thirds. This will be negative 5 over 6, negative 5 over 6, negative 15, actually negative 5 over 2. and then zero. Now row one is gonna be one, five thirds, four thirds, negative one third. Oh, I'm sorry, that's not negative one third. It's just one third. Then we combine. We get one, zero. Let's see here. Negative five over six, plus four over three. I get one half. Negative 5 over 6 plus 1 third. I get negative 1 half, negative 5 halves, and 0. That's all going to become my new row. And then row 2 stays the same. Row three is gonna stay the same. And then the next thing is to try to turn this guy into a zero. And so to do that, we're gonna need a negative one there. So let me go over to the next page. So on the next page, we're gonna do negative one times row two plus row three to give me the zero in row three that I need. So negative one times row two. So here I am here. Negative one times all these guys in row two. I'm going to get zero, negative one half, or I'm sorry, negative one, negative one half, um, negative one half, negative three halves and zero in row three are these entries zero one one negative one zero one and that's it so then i add these together i get zero zero positive one half negative three halves negative three halves one so this becomes my new row three And then my row two and my row one are gonna stay the same. So one, zero, one half, zero, one, one half, negative one half, negative five halves, zero, one half, three halves, zero. Okay, 
Now we move on. Now we need to get the one in this last spot. So to get a one, you multiply their, by the reciprocal. So two over one times row three to give me the, the one in row three that I need. So zero times two, zero times two, one half times two, negative three halves times two, negative three halves times two, and one times two. The other rows are gonna stay exactly as they were. Okay, so now I'm gonna use this one and I'm gonna change these guys to zero. So it doesn't matter which one you do first, I'm gonna go ahead and try to change this one to a zero first. So I'm gonna need a negative one half. So in order for me to get now you don't want to use this one to alter that because if you do, then when you combine these guys, you're actually going to change this zero into a one or into something. You want to use this row so that when you combine the two zeros together, it'll still stay zero, okay? And when you combine zero and one together, it'll stay a one. You don't want to put these two rows together because it won't work out that way. It'll change everything. So I'm going to use this one to change that to a zero, which means this one has to turn into a negative one half. So negative one half times row three plus row one to give me my new row one. So all of these guys times negative one half. So zero, zero, um, negative one half, positive three halves, positive three halves, negative one. And then underneath it, I'm going to put row one. And so then when we combine, we get one, zero, zero. We get two halves, which is one. We get negative two halves, which is negative one. And that's negative one. So the result is one, zero, zero, one, negative one, negative one. And then zero, one, half, one half. 3 halves, 0, 0, 0, 1, negative 3, negative 3. Now the last one is to change this guy to a 0. And again, the same thing as before. You don't want to change this, so you, you want to use the zero zeros, and you don't want to change that, so you want to use the zero one. 1. It's this guy you want to change. So do negative 1 half times row 3 plus row 2 to give you the new row 2. Okay. So let's do that math on the side. We're going to get 0, 0, negative 1 half, positive 3 halves, positive 3 halves, negative 1, 0, 1, 1 half, 1 half, 3 halves, 0. So we get 0, 1, 0, 4 halves, which is 2. Here we get 6 halves, which is 3, and then negative 1. So we end up with 0, 1, 0, and then 2, 3, negative 1 and everybody else stays the same. So then your inverse here is going to be one, negative one, negative one, two, three, negative one, negative three, negative three, and two. Oh, sorry. You could not see the rest of that down there. Okay, so I did negative one half times all of these guys. I'm sorry, times all of these guys. So I got all of these values times negative one half times negative one half times negative one half times negative one half. Row two entries I just wrote right there. Then I added them together and simplified, of course. And then that became my new row two. Rewrote row one, rewrote row three. And then since I do have the identity on this side, that means this side is my inverse. Okay, I do have one more example for this particular problem. So let me go over that one. So it says find the inverse, of course. So I already put the, the identity matrix here, and we're going to start off. So the first thing we want to do is change the sky into a 1, um, and then use that 1 to change these guys into zeros. So, um, and you use it by multiplying it by something to turn these guys into zeros, right? So first I'm going to multiply by the reciprocal. So what is the reciprocal of negative 1? It's 
1 over negative 1, which is the same as just negative 1 times rule 1. So when I do that, it basically changes all the signs. So it becomes positive, 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 negative, 0, and 0 are neutral. So then the next step is to want to try to change these two guys into zeros. So we got to use the one that we already created. So I'm going to use negative 3 times row 1 plus row 2 to get that new row 2. So I can get that 0 there where I want it to. Okay. So I turn this guy into a 0. So negative 3 times row 1 is going to be negative 3, negative 3, negative 6, positive 3, 0, 0. Row 2 is going to go directly underneath. I'm going to get 0, 1, negative 1, 3, 1, and 0 as my result. And row 2, I mean row 3, I'm just rewriting. Now the goal is to change this guy into a 0. And I have to use this one. Now this is already a positive one and a negative one, so they'll already turn out to be zero when I add them together. So I don't need to multiply row one by anything. Okay, I just can add it to row three to give me my new row three. So one, one, two, negative one, zero, zero, negative one, negative three, zero, 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 one. Add them together. And that becomes my new row three. So then next we move on to this spot, but it's already a one, so we don't need to do anything to it. So then the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna move on to getting the zeros. So we wanna turn that guy into a zero. We have to use this one in order to turn that into a zero. So I'm gonna take row two, and because I want it to turn this into a zero, I'm gonna need a negative one. So negative one times one plus this positive one give me the zero. So then let's see, we're going to do negative one times all of row two. So basically it just changes the signs of everything. And then I'm going to do row one underneath and then combine. And that's going to become my new row one. Row two stays the same. And row three stays the same. Then the next thing is to change this guy into a zero. So I need to change this into a positive two. So positive two times row two plus the row three to give me my new row three. So two times all of these guys. So two, negative two, six, two, zero, and then row three underneath. So I get 0, 0, 0, 5, 2, and 1. So when I rewrite my matrix, row 1 is going to stay the same, row 2 is going to stay the same, and row 3 is going to become 0, 0, 0, 5, 2, 1. So because I got all the zeros, remember you cannot turn a 0 into a 1. Okay, and I apologize this wasn't... You couldn't see this down here. So what I did was to get this guy to turn to zero, I made that a positive two. So I did positive two times row two plus row three. All of these entries times two. And then row three just written below. <coughs> Excuse me. Added everything together. And I, my result was this, which will become my new row three. <coughs> Excuse me. So row one stayed the same, row two stayed the same, and row three became, <coughs> excuse me, these entries here. Now, because I got zero, 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 you cannot change a zero into a one because there's no reciprocal of zero. <coughs> excuse me. And the only way we can change things into a one is by multiplying by the reciprocal. 
And since there's no reciprocal of zero, undefined, we cannot continue any further, which means that this inverse does not exist. I think the computer also says like A is non-singular or something like that. So whatever it says, whether it says A inverse does not exist, or if it says it's undefined, or it says A is non-singular, they all mean the same thing. It basically means you cannot find the inverse, okay? So whichever of these it allows you to select, that's going to be your answer for this particular problem.